I do feel proud to be the one, you know, bringing a lens and bringing a microphone to try to amplify the stories of the small business owners, um, the immigrant Americans and the first generation Americans, stories that might not otherwise see the light of day. didn't nap. My name is Sam Komen. I am a documentary portrait photographer from Los Angeles. In my work, I use series of portraits of real people to look at social issues, social justice issues. I look at American identity and um, questions of community and inclusion. You know, this is a different project. This is looking at people who have, you know, just are immigrating and are going through the immigration process at their naturalization ceremonies. Let me grab this. Let me show you this. This is what I was telling you about. So this is like, you know, the project, you know, what was different about this project for me was that I was simultaneously shooting stills and motion at the same time which is something I've never, ever done in my life. I've always been a strobe photographer, you know, flash photographer and flash and motion picture do not mix. Is this the shot? That's the shot. Cool, so this picture won a prize and like as part of the, part of the prize, I had, to, I had to make a photograph that, you know, went on the gallery wall, uh, but I also wanted to like make a picture for Jesus, who hopefully is going to be there tonight. And I made him, you know, something large, but what's cool about this met these metal prints is that they look almost like sebachromes. They look almost like these, you know, this archival high gloss process that we can't even do anymore. always try to stay in touch with people that I'm photographing. When this won an award, like, of course, I went back to him and let him know and, and you know, shared the excitement with him and gave him a gift as well. Yeah, you know, this is, this is a really high rent neighborhood, Los Feliz. East Hollywood. There's not a lot of room for small businesses, the kinds that I like enjoyed with my family as a child. Like, I just can't imagine how small businesses like that could ever get started, like ever again, or even, you know, make it. When I was photographing the project, one of the first pictures I took was of a man named Eric Rabanales, and uh, he is a vacuum cleaner repair technician, and he can actually repair anything. Sometime later, after we took the picture, and I gave him his print, and I was able to visit with him, and you know, somewhat stay up to date with him, and let him know about a few other things that happened with the Working America project. But unfortunately, the store closed. And I just reached out to him the other day. I think he's coming to the opening tonight, and uh, I'm excited to see him again.
I wasn't gonna do a whole opening, but it turned out being turned out being a whole opening. Great. It's great. It is great. Hey. Hey, Eric. Good to see you. Wanna have a hug? I was just I was just outside the vacuum store today. Today? Yeah, today. Oh really? Yeah, I just went to see it. Yeah. In your in your quote, you said you said I don't think my kids are gonna follow in my footsteps. Do you yeah. understand that? Yes, because you know uh, what I want, what I wish is that they professional, yeah. you know, the university. Yeah. That's what I want. yeah, yeah. Do you feel, uh, did this bring any pride to them? Do they feel proud of you, do you think? Yes, they are. I okay. showed them the, the picture. I, I, I was talking to them just a couple of days ago mm -hmm. about this. I should have I should have known you'd look amazing. <laughs> How are you? I'm really good. Good to see you. I feel like everybody every time I show the show the work, people like respond to your picture. <laughs> no, you got a good presence. Man, people love your picture. Yeah. They really love your picture. I it's a have a picture on my wall. Do you? Yeah. Good. Yes. Awesome. I strongly believe that questions about race and work and access that immigrants face in America today are urgent and they are not intellectual questions, they are questions of justice and they are questions of equity and the country that we want to live in. People come from so many different walks of life but we're all in this American experiment together.